today in this video we are going to discuss the properties of a, a simple geometrical figure that is line in previous sessions so we have discussed a straight line in a coordinate plane and some of the formulas like uh, how to find the distance of a line in a coordinate plane and how to find the ratio the point which is divided to uh, uh, divided a line into two uh, section so the ratio how we can find the ratio of the line and how to find the area of triangle whose vertices are given okay so today so in this section we are going to discuss uh, properties of a line which is a simple geometrical figure so slope of a line slope of a line is nothing but if i want to say in mathematics the slope or gradient of a line is a number that describes both the direction and the steepness of a line both the direction and steepness of a line that is if i draw a line this line so we will describe the direction and the steepness of a line okay you can see you can describe the direction and how much this line is steep okay suppose if i you know take one more line like this we can find the direction and how much this line is steep or you can write one more line and we can find the direction we can describe the direction and how much this line is steep so if i draw one more line like this so the direction and how much the line is steep you can see here the steepness is somehow moderate the steepness is here high here also the steepness is high but here the steepness is very less there is no steepness it's just a straight line okay so slope of a line slope of a line is nothing but mathematically we can describe we can describe the line that is a direction and how much this line is a steep okay so if i take a coordinate plane this coordinate plane so if i draw a line uh, other words you can say other words you can say or other words you can say a uh, slope is calculated by uh, finding the ratio of the vertical change to the uh, horizontal change between any two distinct point okay so horizontal change to the vertical change between any two distinct points okay so in this line if i take this line so if i take two distinct points here so slope you can define uh, horizontal change to the vertical change between any two distinct points so horizontal change so okay. so the changes between the vertical and the horizontal uh, between two distinct points you can define as a slope okay slope is nothing but Uh, vertical change to the horizontal change. So, okay, this vertical change, we say vertical, vertical change to the horizontal change. Okay. So, vertical change to the horizontal change. If I take this line, literally if I extend both x-axis, I can extend this line also, and this line, and this one. Suppose if I take this one as x1 and this is x2 and this is y1 and this is y2. Okay, so slope we can define vertical change to the horizontal change. Okay, so vertical change you see this vertical line the changes from y2 to y1. So we can write y2 minus y1 divided by the horizontal change. Horizontal change that is x2 minus x1. So x2 minus One is equal to the slope. So slope is nothing but vertical change to the horizontal change, or you can say uh, rise over run. Okay, it's so running in this direction and it is rising, or you can say uh, rise over run. Okay. So if I want to define a slope of a line, okay. So how much the line is steep, and also the direction. If you want to find out that one. So you can define slope is equal to rise over run. That is changes in the vertical line with respect to changes in the horizontal line. That is nothing but slope. Okay. 
Now, in this coordinate plane, we take a line. Okay, so also we can define the ratio between the vertical change to the horizontal change. Okay, so here we want to find out the slope for this line. So slope is equal to so vertical change with respect to the horizontal change. Okay, so uh, vertical change with respect to horizontal change. Horizontal change we are going the right hand side direction and upside. Okay, so upside you can take it's a positive. This works the right hand direction, right hand side direction also you can take it as positive. Therefore, positive. Okay, so vertical change and the horizontal change, so both are positive. Okay, so in this case you will get slope is equal to the positive value. Okay, suppose if I take some line here. Okay, so for this line you want to find out the slope. For here the slope is equal to uh, rise over rise over ramp. Okay, so upward direction that is positive. Okay, so this is rise. Rise is positive and divided by a run. Run is running towards left hand side, hence it is a negative. Okay, so in this case, we will get slope as a negative value. Okay, suppose if I take a line, if I take a line parallel to x axis, parallel to x axis, if I take a line parallel to x axis, if I want to find the slope for this line, so slope is equal to here you see. Only run, there is no rise in this case. Okay, only run, there is no rise. So there is no rise. So we can take zero by zero by. So we can take any direction, okay, positive or negative. Okay. So for parallel line, the line which is parallel to x-axis, for slope is this is equal to zero. Okay. Slope of this line is zero. Okay. When the line is parallel to x-axis, for that line. You can write slope as zero. Okay. Suppose if I take a line, if I take a line parallel to parallel to y axis. If I take a line parallel to y axis, so for this line, if you want to find out the slope, so slope is equal to here only the rise is there. There is no run. Okay. Only rise. There is no run. So rise, rise over run is zero. So in this case, you we cannot define the slope for this line. Okay. So when you take the line parallel to a vertical line, that is x-axis, sorry, that is y-axis, for that line we cannot define the slope. That is slope rise over run run is zero here. So in this case, we cannot find define the slope for this line because this line is parallel to y-axis. Therefore, we cannot define the Slope for this line. Okay, so for this line, slope always positive value, and this kind of line so will be negative. And if you take the line parallel to x-axis, the slope is zero. If you take line parallel to y-axis, it is not defined. Okay.